laptop or your phone. You just start buzzing around the light. <laughs> oh, like, oh my god. All right, everybody, welcome to Hot Couch Potato, the podcast where we talk about video games and celebrate the holidays. My name is Brent, aka Poo Up. I'm here with my man, Rick, aka A New Perfect Day. What's going on, man? Hey, today we're at a low uh, 53 degree weather <laughs> in Los Angeles. <laughs> it fucking feels like 40, though, for real, man. It's so cold in San Diego, dude. Yeah, man. And it sucks because, like, you know, my job is the outside field job. So I'm like, oh my God, it's freezing. <laughs> I love the cold, but. I, I think one guy described it as like, oh, today's a nice cold day today. I was like, oh, that's my new username right there. <laughs> a nice cold day. Okay. Okay. A nice cold day today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy yeah. cold it was. Um, my cousin, I work with him. and we It's so funny. I knew he worked at the office I got hired at, but I didn't think we'd be sitting like 20 feet away from each other. It's so funny. So I see him every day and we take breaks, you know, we go and walk around and stuff. And um, it was so cold today. This guy was already wearing a jacket. You know, I put on my jacket before we went out for our walk on our 15 minute break. He busts out this vest that's like that bubble material, you know, that's like super thick and throws it on over his jacket. And I'm like, are you for real? What are you going to work out like a doc or something? And he goes, say what you want, man. I'm feeling warm. And I was like, okay, dude. <laughs> and it always reminds me of my grandpa, dude. Coming up, he was always wearing vests, and it, which had like 20 different pockets. You know what I mean? And he always had candy in one pocket he would give you and stuff. I was like, all right, man. Rolling around like Papa now. He's like, you know it. I'm keeping warm. <laughs> and I could not blame him, dude. We walked outside, and it was cold as shit, dude. I was crying. I almost Dude, I that's exact. That's that's a funny <laughs> coincidence too, because my uh, coworker today, we like, he was wearing a jacket, mm -hmm. and then like when we got out to the, you know, outside, we we're like, oh fuck, it's like hella freezing. Mm -hmm. He bust out that bubbly vest thing that you're talking about, <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, "This is the new style," and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so dated and so old, dude. Yeah. Like, what the like, fuck are you wearing, bro? Yeah. This is not the 90s, man. Like, what the hell are you trying to bring back? <laughs> but hey, you know what? I think I've passed the point of trying to look cool now. As long as I stay warm, then I think I'm fine. So I might have to invest in a vest, for lack of better words. <laughs> oh, but shit. yeah, man, this is our special holiday episode. This episode is going to be dropping on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Diwali, whatever you celebrate. Xmas, birthdays. <laughs> Happy oh, celebration. Oh, by the what? Yeah, by the way, I'm for this weekend we're going to be going to Big Bear. Oh, and, I know, huh? And I, you know, I was like excited and I realized, oh wait, there might not be any fucking snow, so I'll be snowboarding in the dirt or at least fake snow. <laughs> Wait, Big Bear, don't they always have snow, though? Don't they make their own snow? Yeah, so okay. last time I remember, it was kind of like slush, and that's like the worst. Like, uh, if you're like snowboarding and it's like, not, it's like soft snow, mm -hmm. so you basically get stuck in the middle of the runway, <laughs> oh, and no, you just have dude. to hop your way, and it hurts because, you know, you have to... When you're hopping, you gotta lift your snowboard up, and your your shins start to hurt a lot, and mm -hmm. it's the worst. So it's funny because like we're all you just see like I don't know ten or twenty people just like cruising down the the, the mountain or the hill, and then all of us get stuck in the middle halfway. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just because it's just too hopping. slushy. Yeah, oh, we're shit. just hopping away, and like this is the horrible. You know, like you don't want to take it off, but you want to. You do want to take it off. It's just, you know, you're halfway in the mountain. And then when you, you got done hopping, then you can, like, slide all the way down, which um. kind of blows. <laughs> but you have your, like, don't you have your PlayStation, Sony, snowboard? Oh, yeah. I wish, dude. Wait, that I thought you. Oh, you, nah, maybe you just man. showed me a picture. Of yeah, it. I just showed you. It was, like, $500 oh. or Six hundred dollars limited edition. I think they only made a certain amount, but wow. I really wanted it. I just I already have a snowboard that I don't use. 
I'm I trying to use it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. How did all of your, uh, did you do a bunch of Christmas shopping or you got that all done already? Uh, fortunately, like my family was mentioning like only buy for like the nephews and nieces. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, that cuts down everything. So I was like asking all of my nephews and nieces what they want. And yeah, they made it easy enough. They're like, money i was like <laughs> what don't make this too easy for me <laughs> so what are you going to the bank just getting them dollar bills or what yeah yeah so tomorrow's luckily is payday so i'll be mm -hmm. just giving out uh gift cards and oh nice and all that but you know i learned that my family is kind of still giving presents to each other oh, i'm God. like dude don't don't say that now because i <laughs> didn't do prepared. any christmas yeah. shopping yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna feel bad, it's totally dude. That's bad. the worst when everybody starts giving gifts and you're like, "Oh well, shit, I didn't plan for this at all." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just don't give out anything. <laughs> I know it sucks because like my sister was like, "Okay, don't give anybody gifts, just the nephews and nieces." And then I think it was like yesterday she was like, "Oh yeah, I want this for Christmas, everybody." I was like, "What? Wait, hold up, wait, hold <laughs> who's gonna up. buy this for you? You're not a niece or a nephew." <laughs> <laughs> exactly wait a second <laughs> <laughs> so actually funny story about gifting cash so one time i owed someone 300 dollars. i think i'd gotten like season tickets for the padres or something and the payment was 300 dollars a month and this was before venmo came out mm -hmm. so i had to pay someone 300 dollars. and i thought it would be so funny to get 300 dollars in ones and pay them that way <laughs> right <laughs> Let me tell you why it didn't end up being so cool, right? It's not easy to hold $300 bills. $300? <laughs> <laughs> it's in stacks and shit. And like walking out of that bank, I can't just put it in my pocket, dude. I'm like walking out of the bank with fucking stacks of dollar bills just waiting to get robbed. And to make matters worse, I wasn't seeing the person until like later on in the night. So I had to go to school. I was still going to San Diego State at the time. I had to go to school leave the cash in my car and sweat about it the whole time dude <laughs> holy crap i don't even know if the payoff was worth it because i wasn't there when the person deposited the money in the bank but the whole time i had that much money i was sweating so if you ever try to be funny and get a bunch of ones to pay someone back just think about carrying that shit <laughs> in the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude like i was totally thinking about doing that for my nephews and i was like wait no nah, that doesn't sound like a good idea and then plus like my uh one of my coworkers owed me money and uh -huh. you know like i treated him to lunch i think it was like 15 dollars worth and this motherfucker gives me 15 dollars in ones <laughs> <laughs> so i don't have a wallet and this thing is huge and then i was like what what is this he's like oh sorry this is like stripper money <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, this has been like digging in his couch for that shit, man. Yeah, like, finding all the bills it's everywhere. all crumpled up. Like, <laughs> damn. You could have just venmo me, man, at this point. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, man, Christmas weekend, always exciting. Always get to spread the love and cheer and buy stuff for Yay. people to see the reaction on their faces. Always good times. Disappointment. Um, Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um but another crazy thing about this weekend is we get another monster hunter beta 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 damn dude i don't know how to say beta. that word beta we get a Can monster hunter Japan? world beta, beta. Uh, beta. yeah beta oh really damn. We're speaking japanese now bros <laughs> <laughs> but yeah another monster hunter world beta is coming out and it's free to everybody i think when it first came out only people that had PlayStation Plus could download it and play, but now it's just open to everyone. I think they're just doing a stress test on their servers or just letting everybody get a taste of the sweet, sweet Monster Hunter World pie. Um, it kind of sucks for you because you're going to miss it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I was up really debating. There. I'm debating still <laughs> if I should bring the PS4 the up there. And Sheesh, it's dude. just a lot of stuff to carry. And yeah. I don't know. I might leave it. I think I might leave it. When are you coming back? Are you coming back on Monday or Tuesday? Supposedly Tuesday. Oh, but um, yeah, depending totally on the ride situation. Because I'm going to get picked up by my parents. But, ah, okay. Um. 
If not, then I'll be back by like Thursday or something like that. Sheesh, yeah, you're totally going to miss it. Well, I'll play enough for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I just recently found out about a monster I completely missed in the first beta. So I'm going to try and fight it this time. It's called um, Diablos, which is just a monster that isn't even described in any of the missions. He's just in the world somewhere, and you have to discover him. Um, so definitely going to try and find that. And apparently you need a team, so... Maybe I'll get to use my gun and be a little bit more effective than just soloing shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in Big Bear, man, I know you're going to have limited access to gaming. Psych, you have a Switch. So you yeah! plan on bringing that up, man? Hell yeah, man. I was nice, thinking about dude. bringing up a TV too, but I was like, nah, man, I got a Switch. <laughs> I don't need that stuff. <laughs> so, you know, like the the time I got the Switch, I was still at in San Diego mm -hmm. and I didn't really hook it up to the TV or anything. But when I got back to LA, I hooked it up and I like, hooked it up to like the 50 inch, 55 inch we have. And oh my God, it's amazing. Dude, it's a Mario and then Manelli was like, oh yeah, I need to use the TV. And I was like, let me get my dock, pull it out of the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you haven't movies. finished. I know you were worried about finishing um, Mario Odyssey before you went on your Big Bear trip, but it's safe to say you haven't finished it yet. Yeah, I okay. have not. Have okay. you? No, I am at. Where am I at? I fought Bowser for the first time. Oh, dang. If that's any spoilers, have you fought Bowser yet? No, I think I've, I'm on that grass world and i just got them beating that grass world the um you know grass it's like world. the one where you can go two different ways one is like the water world and the other one is like the the grass world with the the monsters that like extend oh dude i totally went to the water world so you went the opposite way than me yeah yeah oh shit okay how does it affect the story actually i wouldn't know Holy shit. Um, well, because I did both. Oh, you did but, both? How'd you do both? Um, it gave me the option to go go to that area. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, because I, you know, like me, I don't like to split ways. I have to make sure every map is freaking completed. Oh, because I th oh, and, think and I'm if you go back to the first area, you can co start collecting the coins that we couldn't collect by the gear there, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I totally got the top hat and the suit, and that's all I wear. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good because then when you fight Bowser, you know, he's wearing that white tuxedo and that white top hat. So yeah. I was fighting him, and I was in the black tuxedo and the black top hat. It was amazing, <laughs> dude. It was the best experience ever, man. Mario is a fucking great game, dude. I it can't is. believe it took us so long to get switches, man. Yeah, I was just looking up all of the accessories, and of course, they're still expensive as shit. But <laughs> the case I ordered uh, that should be coming soon is like a. Do you remember those composite um, notebooks that we used to have in like I don't know middle school? They're like black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what the case looks like. It looks like oh, one of those notebooks. Okay, okay, yeah, those little like uh, comprehension journals and stuff yeah yeah oh, nice okay so hopefully you know if a thief goes through my bag they're gonna be like i don't want any of this shit you know <laughs> I was like i want this notebook but it's my switch motherfucker <laughs> nice dude nice have you bought anything else on it you just bought mario just mario but it looks like i might be picking up uh zelda if if i manage to finish it way too early yeah, yeah. I have Zelda in the backlog. And I'm definitely playing that next. I mean, like you said, the possibilities are endless with the Switch. You know, I'll get yeah. home and it's in the dock, so I'll play a little bit. And then, you know, oh, you know what? I got to cook dinner. Let me go downstairs. Let me bring my Switch with me. Yeah. <laughs> put the Joy-Con on the side. Or, you know, let me bring the Joy-Con grip with me so I can, you know, just put the Joy-Cons in there and play. And I'll just push out the kickstand, put it on the table. Let's preheat the oven real quick. Oh, wait. I'm still playing Mario, motherfucker. Yo. Dude, it's so amazing, man. It's so. Oh, wait. I need to use the bathroom, too. I'm bringing the Switch with me, dude. Put it on the sink. Let's go. You know what I'm saying, man? It's, Yo. It, I think it's just been a super long time since I've had a portable console, I think is what it is, man. 
Um, I think you mentioned when we were like texting before that that's what the Vita was supposed to be like, but I never got that feeling with the Vita, you know? Exactly. I mean, I couldn't really play games on there on the TV like that, right? And I don't know, although the Vita is smaller than the Switch, the Switch just feels more convenient for whatever reason. I have, I have no idea what it is, dude. I think it was because like originally the Vita was supposed to be like you take – you know, you're on your PS4, and then you can switch to your Vita and continue your game that way. But they, oh. I think they trashed that idea, and they're like, okay, let's bring out this PS TV thing where you can just play the Vita onto the TV. So yeah, if they stuck with that like the Switch did, then I think maybe they would have like better chance with the Vita. But, you know, you're Nintendo right. like fully hopped mm-hmm. on that idea and... Now you can like okay, I can go from big screen to portable instantly and take know? it anywhere. Yeah, whereas exactly you're right. I remember doing that with Destiny too. You know, I had to run, finish a public event, but I had to use a bathroom, so I took my Vita with me. Yeah, and it took like that extra five seconds to get on the Wi-Fi and connect the systems together. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that that is that really is it. Just that, um. What's the word I'm looking at? That convenience, right? Of just being able yep. to just continue your game no matter what you're doing, man. Um, exactly. So, yeah. Odyssey is great. It's the perfect game. I think I mentioned it last week. It's just because the games we've been playing have been so dark. Tones are so serious. But with Mario, <laughs> all that goes out the window, dude. How many of the bosses have you fought? Um, Just up to, I guess, the desert, the the jungle and one two three four five four i think three or four or five so you fought each of the rabbit people once right the what are they called rab boots or something (laughs) baroos i I don't know but i thought i killed them but i guess there's no death in this (laughs) game (laughs) they just come back in their ship dude okay in in the desert level did you fight the guy in the upside down that was under the upside down pyramid yeah yeah the one with yeah. the fists yeah dude that back. fight yeah. was so fun man yeah oh dude. my god <laughs> where you became the fist i was like yeah. i am one with the fist <laughs> i know dude like it took me some time to figure out like okay what am i doing i'm just running and dodging this stuff and then you realize oh he hits the glass on the ground and that makes his fist vulnerable and i could take it and then once you take it you're like oh yep i'm punching you in the face but at the same time he's like trying to hit the hand out of the air with the other hand and you're like nope <laughs> yeah. i'm dodging bitch and then you punch him oh so great dude oh man so yeah. great and then in the forest one what's the boss the ufo did you fight that the ufo oh i haven't finished that one yet no Ooh, okay that boss is fun as well and i think yeah dude i just miss bosses like that like the ones in crash bandicoot you know where you just have to hit them three times, but to get those hits in, you have to dodge all their bullshit or do some sort of mechanic, you know? As yeah. As opposed to, like, we've been playing Bloodborne and Dark Souls forever, and you just have to hack and slash and pray for an opening, right? <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Bloodborne, man, what's our what's our Lawrence update looking like? <sighs> oh, God. Does this sound good? <laughs> so basically yesterday i don't know i was like on some some calm pills or something i was just really calm mm-hmm. and i was like okay i don't i don't mind i have no expectation of beating this boss but i'm just gonna try so anyway so i hopped on um you know i did my usual routine of getting past the the stuff farming all of the the healing potions which i don't really need i think it's because he like one shots kills me kind of thing Oh, okay yeah but basically, I got really close. Like, I got into the second phase, and I, I think it was just one tenth of his life left. And because he was just like cheat. I was, do- I don't know. I was just hitting him once, and I was just running away. Uh-huh. And then one tenth of his life, I sneezed, and he slams and hits me. <laughs> I, dude, I was so, at that point, I like really like just put the controller down. <laughs> 
and I just went straight to bed, dude. I just <laughs> literally just went straight to bed. I didn't want to play any games anymore. At, oh, at that my point. God, dude. <laughs> oh, man. It was so rough. You know, I was like, dude, I can't believe this happened. You know, like, you sneeze and I get hit. Like, I was just really that close. You uh-huh. know, I was like, oh, my God. I should have just recorded it and show you how angry I was. <laughs> <laughs> so you sneezed, like, for real, you sneezed. Which yeah. yeah, and then he he does he does that like I don't know that three sixty uh slam on mm-hmm. the ground, and then like since I sneezed I didn't like press circle in time and it just it just hit me and then <laughs> oh, no. oh god and then so today I was like okay let me let me attempt it again and then uh, Anthony joined me and then he was like telling me like how to get some some more healing potions and all that uh-huh. and we we're doing share play and he was just watching me and then dude as soon as i got to the second phase i like choked so hard i was just getting smacked around i was like okay i just put the controller back down <laughs> <laughs> oh no dude oh, i need help oh, i need no, help <laughs> <laughs> okay eventually eventually before 2018 we got to beat uh, Lawrence, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's only a couple weeks left, but we got to find the way, man, to beat Lawrence, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got pretty good at, like, dodging most of his attacks. Uh-huh. It's just the, the the second phase, I'm starting to choke, like, pretty hard now. It's like, I know oh, you're supposed shit. to just kind of keep going to his, his weak arm side. Uh-huh. And then I was watching videos of like people really dodging it. They're using the frame rates to to dodge all of his attacks. Oh but wow, yeah. It's just I just choke up so hard and oh god, uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of annoying bosses, I was out here really trying to finish Starbound because I wanted to get to Mario Odyssey, right? So I took Rick's advice. I hired two of my crew to come with me the most badass guys i got i mean one really (laughs) looks like darth vader so i'm thinking oh man this is gonna be great right so first attempt you know we have to dig into the world to get there right so i'm just digging Uh straight down so i can get to the bottom get to the final boss and i forget that there's a big ass chasm chasm whatever you want to say all the way down to the bottom so I'm just going straight down, not really paying attention. Next thing you know, this chasm opens up, and I fall all the way down, <laughs> and I die. And I was like, oh, I do not remember that from last time. <laughs> so we restart. Go back in there again. I'm going down, and this time I know. You know you're not going to get me. Fool me once. You know, Shame on you. Fool me twice. <laughs> that shit ain't going to happen. So I'm going down. And I'm mining, and then we reach the chasm. I'm like, oop, you guys didn't know I had a quadruple jump. So I'm like quadruple (laughs) jumping my way down so I don't take damage. So we make it down. We're fine. Everything's perfect, right? We get down there, and the boss, he starts doing his thing. He starts summoning ads, and my guys are doing their job by tanking everything for me. I'm standing back and healing them, shooting shots. Everything's going great. The boss has this one eye laser. That takes oh, up the whole center of the stage, I right? I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> and for whatever reason, for whatever reason, my guys just wanted to stand and bathe. In that <laughs> shit. Yep, that's what my guys did. And I'm sitting here thinking, what the fuck? My healing is not fast enough for this shit. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So he does that attack once, and it takes <laughs> off, I think, 66 damage a hit. And I don't know how much health these guys got, but it doesn't last too long. So they take in that whole thing. They're just sitting in it for like a minute while this laser is just beaming down on them, right? Independence mm-hmm. Day style. Just bzzz, <laughs> fucking them up. And they live. Like, oh, great. This is cool. Maybe I still have a chance, right? So I'm going around fighting, dodging, trying to make them tank stuff. And I think I went all the way to the left of the stage when I was trying to dodge stuff. And I'm still attacking the boss. Get him to about halfway. And then I start walking again to the right. And I'm like, wait, where's my guys at? They fucking died already, (laughs) dude. Are you kidding me? So I get overwhelmed because all these monsters are just killing the shit out of me. Yeah. And I die. 
So fucking take three. <laughs> Third attempt, right? We get over the chasm. I learn how to position the guys a little bit away from the eye laser. And we're doing great. We're doing well. Those monsters that you have to kill them twice because when you kill them the first time, they just split in half and you have to fight their ass in their face. Oh, yeah. Those guys come up and they're just running amok and my guys can't keep up with them. And in the midst of fighting those things, Eye Laser comes through and these guys are like, oh, hey, Eye Laser again? I'll take it. <laughs> just why you get annihilated, right? And I think I have the boss to one-fourth health at this point. And I'm like fuck it dude i'm going for it so i put a hot key on my heels and i take out this magic wand that just summons this little ball of fire so i summon the ball of fire keep my mouse cursor on the boss and i'm just jumping around i'm not killing anything anymore i'm just damaging the boss <laughs> and dodging everything dude i'm fucking what's his name um kira from gundam seed the seed has dropped in my eyeball dude i'm dodging everything right and my saving grace is whenever the boss does that eye laser he kills all the ads that are getting hit yeah. by it you know what i mean yeah so i'm fighting i'm doing my thing he's almost dead and those motherfuckers that when you kill them they split in half and you have to kill their face <laughs> and their ass separately <laughs> So I'm fucking jumping around, dodging them, and they get hit by the laser, but they just split in half, and they have brand new health bars, and they're chasing me. I'm still, I have this fireball on the boss. I'm just concentrating it, and he dies. He starts blowing up, shooting lasers everywhere. I'm like, oh, am I getting hit by these lasers? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm cool. Boom, boom. Stuff starts exploding. This, like, dialogue plays on the bottom left, but I'm not really paying attention. I'm just glad I finally beat this thing. And then a cutscene starts to play of this planet blowing up <laughs> then the screen goes black and i see the game over screen i'm like what yeah. <laughs> what happened dude <laughs> apparently i fucking died during the ending <laughs> <laughs> what i, I didn't was like know what i know i know it played that little fucking game over screen and said you lost 30 percent of your money and i go wait you can't this can't be serious dude i can't have started wow. watching the ending and have died in the middle of it because i guess what happened i probably <laughs> left one of those monsters alive while i was trying to celebrate you know and they were just hitting me the whole time so i was like fuck and usually you know if you die on the last mission i think you spawn back in your ship or something like that i forget but anyways instead of spawning on my ship i spawned at this outpost and the mission said talk to the lady in the wheelchair or whatever so i went mm -hmm. and talked to her and she's like good job i can't believe you beat him and i was like oh i don't have to do it again right <laughs> <laughs> but apparently i got robbed of a great ending credit scene or whatever yeah <laughs> but i'm not even worried about it <laughs> did i uninstall starbound no i didn't uninstall starbound i still got to build my castle but still <laughs> that was my adventure in finishing the game but not really finishing the game <laughs> i'll take the win where i can i got the achievement so i'm good <laughs> that's crazy did you want to know what happens at the end oh i watched it on youtube we're all good <laughs> <laughs> i think you die anyways right Don't yeah you, and they s revive you or some shit like that yeah you just revive back and that's it yeah my only gripe with the game is they highlighted each alien race you know each alien race had their own for lack of better words, power stone, you know, that you would put into this wall that would let you kill the last boss. Except for the alien race I chose, which was Nova Kids. They didn't have their own boss or anything, dude. I was kind of upset at that. Yeah, like, I think humans, too. I didn't see any oh, human yeah. race. That's true, too. Because, I mean, I was waiting. I was like, oh, man, we got the last stone. Great. We get to see what my people are like. They're the Wild West. They'll take care of all this shit. And no, the old lady just gives us the fucking stone. And we're like, oh, okay, I guess. I guess I didn't have to see my people. <laughs> is is it like, oh, yeah, I actually didn't see your people regardless. So never mind. I was going to say, like, maybe because you chose that race, you don't get to see what that stuff is. But then I was human, so I didn't see. I still oh, didn't yeah. see your stuff. Yeah. Regardless. That's yeah. true. So who knows, man? Who knows? We Were there, beat um, Starbound. <laughs> I know, man. We beat Starbound so we can halfway close that book. <laughs> um, 
anything else you've been playing this week, man? Uh, let's see. I got my ass whooped by Bloodborne. <laughs> uh having a super blast with mario odyssey dude i like just the little tiny things like you know you remember those those little radios that are boom boxes that mm-hmm. are around the world you get him with your hat you just go near him and he just starts dancing and yeah stuff like that or you vault you know jump three times and he does like a little vault pose at the end it's uh-huh. pretty awesome but yeah i just i think those are the two games i've been playing got back mm-hmm. a little bit into final fantasy xgs and Oh, and they're like having a like a cloud event going on, so like you can get cloud, um, and you have to go through some of the Final Fantasy VII levels. Mm-hmm. It's kind of short, but yeah, uh, a little been playing a little bit on that. Other than that, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Guess what's coming to the Switch? What? Gal Gun Two. <laughs> <laughs> what so this i had no idea dude are you US, for real yes yeah guess what the limited edition stuff comes with panties <laughs> no you're fucking lying dude no way dude they call the panties a screen cleaner <laughs> I'm fucking crying right now. Are you serious? I gotta link you to that stuff. Do they actually fucking look like panties? Like for or yeah, these like, screen oh. cleaner panty looking things, dude. I was My like browsing a uh, Play Asia God, because that's dude. that's where all of the you know all of the Asia games oh, are. You can pre order it because uh, the Switch <laughs> the Switch right is. It's region free, so I was like, okay, maybe I can look at some of the Japanese games and hopefully play that. And then I was like, wait a minute, is this motherfucking panties? (laughs) Galgun? Wait, so how is this going to work? Do you have to use the joysticks to aim and stuff, or can you use an actual Joy-Con to aim on the screen? Um, I think it sounds like you can use, you know, like how... Oh, well, in Zelda, you can aim your arrow by moving your entire switch with the Joy Cons, or you just move oh, the Joy Cons to aim. Okay, okay. So it uses the motion. So see, so the first game that was like on PS3, that was the better one because you can use the the, the forgot, move. PlayStation Move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, like it feels kind of strange playing it on PC or you know stuff like that. Yeah, because it's just like a regular shooter at that point. Exactly. But in this one, so you're gonna tilt the switch. Yeah, yeah, you oh, tilt the switch. Okay. So, and this is coming out on it looks like US, but uh let me link you that um oh limited edition uh <laughs> when you when I think you've seen it all, dude. No. Well, you know uh, what? Catherine, I got the special edition of Catherine when it first came out. Oh yeah, that one came with boxers. That came with boxers. Is, yeah. Pretty cool. I mean, I think I actually used the boxers a couple times too. So that's yeah, crazy. But panties, dude, that's kind of creepy, and, man. And it's like uh, we call it screen cleaner. Can you oh, imagine, Mr. Happiness screen cleaner? <laughs> Can you imagine, man? You're just like out there at the bus stop and shit, and this guy's playing his Switch. You're like, oh, cool, he's playing Mario. Nice, dude. Some lint or something falls onto his Switch, and he pulls out of his pocket. Some panties. Starts wiping <laughs> that shit down. Oh my god, bro. Oh, or oh he's like wiping his sweat with it. God. <laughs> what? Oh god, I gotta show you this. Okay, That's I so linked crazy. it to you, so you can got you gotta check it out. Uh, okay, I won't look at it now because I feel like I'm gonna cringe way too hard at it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, Rick. Thank you. <laughs> oh, better delete my history now. <laughs> <laughs> so I also touched base with Destiny 2, as I always do. Um, <laughs> the Dawning came out this week, which is their, their holiday <laughs> event. So oh, last year okay. it was with the Sparrow Racing. They had some special armor set that you can get if you paid real money or if you grind it a little lot same thing carries over to destiny 2 there's this special armor set special shaders special ships that you can get special ghost shell or whatever 
if you just grind out certain tasks. Um, it's more of the same, really. Nothing special. Uh, they brought back Mayhem, though, which is amazing. I don't know if you remember that. That's when your supers charge super quick. Oh, that's so, right. Is it still one or four on a map? Kind yeah, of thing it's still. Well, it's 4v4 Mayhem, so it's crazy, dude. I was just my Arc Strider, you know, my little pole dancer, just yeah. running around killing everybody. And I don't know, Pole Strider's kind of – Pole Strider. Arc Strider's kind of OP, man. He could take a shot from a golden gun and still live and take Say a hammer. What? Yeah, he. I was eating hammers from – um, what are they called? Titan Titans? Bros. Yeah, Titans with the hammers. I was taking those. And getting hit by one and still pulling through. Because I think people panic, you know, because I'm just mashing R1. So I'm, like, slashing in their direction. So they'll shoot me once and then shoot again and miss. <laughs> and I kill them. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if anything, mayhem has been good times. Um, been meaning to try the new raid. Haven't tried that yet. Um, other than that, yeah, it's more of the same, dude. They didn't add Sparrow Racing or anything. Still haven't finished the Curse of Osiris missions at all. Um, I think I played maybe one or two, and I got bored. I was like, yeah, I really don't care <laughs> for any of this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. Destiny, more of the same. That could be the new tagline. <laughs> 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 Until they drastically change it, man. Um, But, yeah. Oh, that, and I'm thinking about picking up... um jackbox party on the switch i've heard very good things about it what's that um it's like a party game that you can buy on the switch and instead of using the joy cons to play it everybody can go on a oh, website easy. on their phone yeah yeah and they could all play the game and it's just you guys have to look at the screen to see the instructions on the games and stuff like that um so i'm thinking of picking that up for our family christmas party i think that'd be good times you know um because we always play some type of game like, I don't know, apples to apples or cards against humanity. So I figured I picked up a Switch. Might as well get some party use out of it, you know? And yep. then, I don't know. I don't have any two-player games, actually. Oh, I guess Mario Odyssey is two-player. Someone can control the hat. <laughs> 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 um, But, yeah, so this week we're going to talk about our favorite games that we played this year whether they came out this year or if it's our first time playing it at all. Um, so I'll say, I'll start for me. A huge one was Neo. I mean, I was hyped for this game since the beginning, since we saw the first trailer like two years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. I went out, immediately bought like the fucking special online download edition, man. Got some special armor that didn't amount to anything in the end. <laughs> some special <laughs> weapons that only boosted me for like the first half hour of the game. Um, got all these special helmets from the demos when I beat the bosses and things like that. Um, and I played the shit out of it, dude. Um, I know you did as well, right? In the beginning of it? Yeah, uh, just working on my ninja. Because I knew like That's everybody right. was going through the samurai route and then especially like when you get later in the end of the game and you start summoning all the the dead players and mm -hmm. you see what kind of armor or weapon styles they went with and it was like usually it was like a samurai sword or the that staff the bow staff thing, mm -hmm. spear so i was like okay i don't see that much ninjas so good thing i went this route because i love tripping people <laughs> <laughs> and yeah rick showed me the friggin' light dude i mean <laughs> no one is immune to that tripping it's it's crazy <laughs> bosses giant monsters what have you if you swing that chain and kunai under their legs they will fucking fall man and then you can just <laughs> step on them it looks like yeah looks like you just step on them and then that's it <laughs> yo <laughs> rinse and repeat <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the games i guess I guess it is the end of the game's life cycle. They came out with all the DLC that they promised um, and made the improvements. I mean, Rick and I were able to play levels together that we didn't beat yet. So at least they got that right, too. I know the big yeah. thing was, oh, man, we can't co-op on a level until both of us have beat it. You know, and that took a lot of the steam out of the game. Um, but the fact that they patched that in the end and Rick and I were able to play levels for the first time that we had never played before was was good times man 
I'll just always remember that Maria boss. <laughs> she was like a five star difficulty boss, and we just like stomped her on the first try, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was amazing, man. Um, other games that came out this year that I actually played, um, Parappa the Rapper Remaster. Always a fan of that game. Um, in fact, I bought a mug at PlayStation Experience. That's Parappa the Rapper. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and I have it at work actually, and that's what I used to drink. You know, water, coffee, anything like that. And I already know the people that double take and look at it. They're cool in my book, man. <laughs> There's just that subtle <laughs> sign, like, "Hey, I know what you're talking about." You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll always have a place in my heart for Parappa the Rapper. Um, in fact, you know what they announced a new like rhythm music game about rapping that they tried to put on Kickstarter and nobody supported it. I wonder where that is now. I have to do some research on that one. Um, other games that came out this year. Oh, you know what? I guess Stormblood counts, yeah? We were big into Stormblood for a couple months. Yeah, especially like after E3 where you know we rocked Stormblood content before it was released mm -hmm. and got those shirts. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. And... They've only been improving it since, right? They've added more dungeons. They've added a new, I guess, quote unquote, raid that like um, twenty four person, forty eight person thing that you can do, whatever it is. Um, and it's going strong. They added harps. Like the bards can actually play their harps now. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the day I heard about it, I just already went on YouTube, and there were millions of people who were playing. The Rick Roll song already on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always a race. As soon as you can find out you can play music in a video game, who can come out with never gonna give you up first? <laughs> <laughs> the one I wanna see, and if I don't see it in the next six months, I'm gonna get back into Final Fantasy and make it myself, is the Phoenix Wright song. If someone oh. has to do the Phoenix Wright song. On their harp ding, 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 ding. exactly dude <laughs> someone has to do that i will be highly disappointed if nobody does that dude <laughs> um other games i played that came out this year that i own that came out this year oh uncharted lost legacy um that was a big one just returning to the uncharted world was great um they added a little bit of an open world section which was fucking amazing and um made the whole game you know, when I got to that portion, I think it's chapter four or something like that. When I got to that open world portion of the game, I thought that was it. You know, since it was supposed to be a DLC at first, I thought I'm going to play this section and that's the whole game. Amazing. But it just got deeper and deeper and deeper and got some surprises along the way. So that was a pleasant surprise. I thought it was going to be something really short that I could knock out in maybe a day. But it took me the better part of a week to beat. So definitely worth it there and i need to revisit it too i always platinum uncharted games and i didn't do it with four or lost legacy oh. so might have to go back might have to go back and visit those um of course destiny 2 i won't say anything else um <laughs> favorite game of all time <laughs> i don't know man i don't know what it is i you know, tell myself, oh, okay, I'm over Destiny, and then I'll just pop it on every week and <laughs> shoot some stuff and <laughs> try to get more loot, you know? It's like ingrained in my brain or something like that. Um, Call of Duty, World War II, picked that up literally on a whim <laughs> when that came out. Like I said, I think I put down $5 for it when I pre-ordered Destiny, and um, someone that worked there told me, oh, hey, you have call of duty reserved i was like okay i guess i'll pick it up <laughs> <laughs> so played that played through the story it was good for what it was it's good to have another call of duty that's not in space or where you could double jump and run on walls and shit like that um played one multiplayer game and that was it in my entire life i've only played two world war ii multiplayer games one was here <laughs> at my house and one was at PlayStation Experience. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? What else came out this year that I played? 
Um, anything you got, man? Uh, Zelda. When uh, my cousin got his Switch. Um, okay. I only played for a little bit, though. I only played for, like, a couple of days. But I was so in love with just being able to go on my adventure, climb this tree. Dude, I was climbing every freaking tree <laughs> I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a stamina of course you know i think you have to build up your stamina in order to climb the really really tall trees but yeah just climbing a lot of trees um going and explore like going to the ice area and like there's like saying oh you need like protection or some sort of like coat in order to go in that area because you know you're taking damage from like frostbite and stuff like that mm -hmm. which was pretty cool um other games of course, Mario. We played it at the last, at the end of the year, but it's one of my favorite games so far. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to do everything in my power not to play it, and I'm doing everything <laughs> in my power to look for everything in the previous levels, like yeah, all of the coins and buy all of the gear, um, especially you know all of the the gears for each particular world, which makes it really cool. I got the cowboy suit and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. but um what else came out this year um uh, we're playing like like you're saying neo i was making my ninja um but this time i was i had the bloodborne and the dark souls mindset of getting backstabbed by turning the corner falling for traps so i said you know what i'm gonna make my ninja invisible and he's gonna have like silent <laughs> steps so the entire <laughs> game i was just breezing through everything and then like you know i was like looking around and sure enough there's always an enemy around every corner <laughs> <laughs> and then my cousin was like oh my god i had to like inch my way through the entire levels because you know we we had that mindset of getting ambushed mm -hmm. but the only time i really got ambushed was by other ninjas mm -hmm. and so it's like I don't know, like they're kind of tricky because they're kind of behind walls. So, but other than that, um, played. Um, what else games came out this year? It was mostly games off my backlog that I had to mm, to do. So it wasn't the, games that came out this year necessarily. Exactly. So like you know, like Stormblood, <laughs> I still have not touched Stormblood. I'm in Heaven's Ward, which is the stuff that came out two years ago. That's true. <laughs> But you re-up you your subscription, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't access that stuff unless you beat the previous DLC. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it, I'm stuck in Heaven's Ward. I think I <laughs> finished it or finishing it, you know. But, you know, I think that's when everyone was going over to Destiny at the mm -hmm. time. And, you know, we're playing Destiny and we leveled up freaking really fast. And oh, yeah. Got all of our gear and... And then I think, you know, our, our purpose changed at the end of the game after we beat everything. We're like, okay, what is our purpose? We're designed to destroy, but there's nothing else to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, um, but the games that I've mainly been playing in the past was like, you know, like Bloodborne, of course. Um, playing Left 4 Dead again, we still i think i were on like the last level of the first left for dead yeah yeah we just still need to beat the last one we beat left for dead 2 we beat all the stuff in left for dead 2 but yeah we yeah. still need to be just that last level yeah and then yeah we have to get on dustin and i'll be the bait because i think bill die uh no spoilers uh <laughs> yeah i'll be the bait <laughs> but the other games i've been playing Fire Emblem Awakening. I think I recommended that game. That was a good, solid 10 out of 10 in my book. Mm -hmm. um, good, solid story. All the characters have different interactions with each other, and you can pair them with different people, which which is crazy because, like, everybody has different dialogue for each other. But, you know, if you couple them together, they have a kid, and that's what's even more crazy. You know, it's like, how can you think of all of this endless possibilities of scripts and stuff and yeah, you know, but anyways, that's a good game. Uh, played Rune Factory Four. Still stuck on that oh, one boss. Oh yeah, <laughs> the one on the DS, right, with the dragon. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think my dragon or the dragon girl, whatever she is, she's still like dying or something. Oh god. 
<laughs> and I was supposed to go and like help solve it, but I'm like stuck on a boss because I've just been lazy to to level up. All you mm. have to do is level up and beat that one boss, and I think continue the story. But meh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> meh. <laughs> My goal is to farm, so that's why I think did I play Stardew Valley this year? It might have been like uh, your third playthrough of it. Yeah, so I saw Stardew Valley on the Switch, and I was like, you know what? I might have to get this game. <laughs> Dude, you know, surprisingly, just a quick side thing here, there's a lot of games out for the Switch. Like, I was looking Dude. at the Nintendo eStore. There's a lot of games on there, more than yeah. I thought there would be. I think one came out today I was reading about that's like – uh Dude, I think like eight games came out today for the Switch, but one came out today specifically that's like – um an OD, OG uh, Zelda clone where it's just top mm. down and you go from screen to screen and that's different parts of the map. Um, so that's cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy all these games, but it's good to know that they have a library other than Mario games and Zelda games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, saw the Mar- uh, Mario, the Mega Man, I think 11 on there mm-hmm. and some of the anime too, like that's going to be coming out. Uh, Boku no Hero. And that's like that popular uh, superhero anime mm-hmm. that's going to be on the Switch, uh, Bayonetta, and and so much, so many games going to be released with the Switch, which makes it awesome. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, I too thought like there's only those popular releases, and then when you go into the library or the store, it's like, fuck, yeah. they do not play around. They have everything lined up, and there's still more coming out. So. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they bring out all the hardcore games there too, you know, start bringing over like Final Fantasy and and things like that. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, um, other than that, I've been playing, I've been playing a shit ton of games. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy XVS, been doing that. Witcher 3, I still have not. You haven't beat that it. yet? Oh my yeah, God. I was about to I, say, I, oh yeah, you beat it, but I just remembered you haven't beat that game yet. I just like a spit away from. <laughs> I just gotta go talk to people, send, assemble them, and I know that we're, we're gonna do battle and then mm-hmm. beat the game. But I'm just too lazy to go talk to these people. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do it in order to get rid of it off my backlog. But I am a master at Honey Pop, so <laughs> <laughs> oh, I totally forgot we played that this year too. <laughs> oh, Dude, it's been a good year in gaming, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we played everything. We played Galgun too. Holy shit. Yep, yep. And so unlocked all of that. All of those characters, the hidden characters too. Oh uh, my good God. game. Good puzzle game. You know. <laughs> I just loved it for the puzzles. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh played Batman Arkham Knight. Um yeah, Breeze through that. Actually, that one took a little bit because I was trying to do the jo- uh, the Riddler challenge mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and save Catwoman, but I think I didn't save Catwoman yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you finished the game, right? Or like the main yeah. story at least. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that was the time when I was like job hunting and I was just playing games like kind of like half the day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, spent my time in that. Played a little bit of Terra with my coworker. He he wanted to play a game. Oh, the me, MMO. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty it's pretty cool and all, but it's just I don't know. It's kind of it's a bit clunky, and I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. It's a lot to learn too. It's just like Black Desert Online. Mm-hmm. Um, they throw a lot of information out there, and you have to just go and kill stuff. So it's kind of like that. Mm-hmm. But um, also finished Last of Us. I think I finished Last of Us this year. Because Eric finished it last December, and then I got into it, I think, at the beginning of the year. Played mm-hmm. Last of Us, the remastered edition. Mm-hmm. And that was an awesome game. So, no, 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 no. I beat that. Never mind. Take that back. Because I beat that before we, we saw the release of that trailer, which was uh, last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. But played Ka- Kamihimi Project R, which what was is that, that? Two- Oh, okay. Think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Played a little bit of uh, One Death Punch. Um, all of the mini games on the 3DS, the Mii Plaza games, were fishing. I don't know, man. I, I don't eat fish a lot, but 
I, I don't know why I gravitate to fishing in my life. The fact that I saw you play these at PSX, it makes it even better. <laughs> the little car racing game, the fishing. Yep. Those are yep. so funny, dude. Yeah, it was just like having that ability. It's just, I don't know. I felt embarrassed. That's what I, That's part of my drive to pick up the Switch. You know, <laughs> seeing everybody at PSX with the fucking Switch. And I'm the only one with the 3DS. Yeah. So I was thinking I was cool, but I'm not cool. <laughs> um, but lastly, it looks like I was playing Pokemon Go at the beginning of the year until Pikachu Still. started talking. Uh-huh. And then, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, DJ, yeah, you played a lot of games this year. I mean, if I look back at it, now I'm looking too. Emily is away too. I remember talking about that a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember too. That yeah. came out this year and I play. How much did I play that? Oh, I didn't <laughs> I didn't play it as much as I played the first one. Maybe I just need to dive back in. Um, <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2, like you said. Uh, Shovel Knight. That game came out with oh, yeah. an expansion this year, I think, where you could play as one of the bosses. Um, I played through that as well. That game is an awesome platformer. Have, you haven't played that yet, huh? No, you and Anthony were recommending me to get that. Should I get that on the on the Steam? Switch? Get that on the oh, Switch, they have it on dude. Switch? I think it's on the Switch. Let's Google Holy it shit, right yo. now, bro. If it's on the Switch, you should get it, and I might have to co-op with you on that. Let me Holy see. crap! If there is co-op, then fuck yeah, dude. Oh no, there All definitely right. is co-op. But let's see if. It's on the Switch. It is, dude. When... Oh, my God. I might have to pick it up today, tomorrow, <laughs> no, when I get paid. <laughs> that game is a great platformer. It's an amazing platformer. And the fact that they released all of the expansions where you can play as the bosses for free just makes it even better, dude. And I think Things. this was a kickstarted game as well. Uh-huh. So that's why it makes it even. Yeah, dude. It released on release. March 3rd is when it came out, and March 3rd is when the Switch came out. So, holy shit, bro. Amazing. Dang. Well, let me know when you pick it up. I'll pick it up. Yeah, man. No, that <laughs> game is great. Um, so, played through all of that this year. Um, Starbound. I know it came out years ago, apparently, but played that this year. Um, Spec Ops The Line. Played that. You know, we were just knocking games off of our backlog at this point, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, but i think i started the year off playing dark souls 3 and then that got me into neo and then after we really got through most of neo is when um i started playing bloodborne uh the dlc at least because i know i beat bloodborne last year but the dlc i didn't get to until like this summer or something like that just played the shit out of that um I know I was trying to jump into the Assassin's Creed series for a little bit. (laughs) That really didn't last long. (laughs) Rick was trying to warn me by saying, yeah, the story is not really good after two. Two's the best one. But then you get into Brotherhood and all that. And I was like, okay, I I feel like I could stomach these games. Dude, I think I made it through like the first boss in Brotherhood. And I was like, yeah, dude, I'm over it, man. (laughs) I'm not trying to play this anymore. Um, what else? I finished Rise, Son of Rome, this year. Um, I said Spec Ops Online. Sleeping Dogs, I started, but never finished. <laughs> Dang, so many games you started. <laughs> I know, man, but never finished. What else did I play, dude? Just so many games. Uh, Dark Souls 2, I started, but didn't finish. I couldn't get through too much of that game. Um, Dark Cloud. That's a game that was originally on PlayStation 2. Um, kind of similar to Zelda, where it's a dungeon crawler. Um, but it's great because you get to rebuild towns and stuff like that. I think the last level, instead of rebuilding a town, you rebuild a Gundam to fight the last boss. It's it's fucking amazing, Ooh, dude. Yeah. Um, so I got that on PS4 and played that over. Um... I think I started Red Dead over too. Yeah, I did start Red Dead over. But then once I found out they delayed the game, I stopped playing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a busy, busy year in gaming, man. And I think being able to 
have these conversations every week just makes me want to play and experience more. I mean, I know our site and our scope of video games is pretty limited because, you know, Rick and I are regular dudes. We work, have lives and shit, so we can't play all the time. But I think we make the most out of it, right? We play yeah. all that we can with the time we have. And it gets as abstract as fucking Galgun and Honey Pop at times. <laughs> <laughs> or Emily is away. You know what I mean? We have time yeah. for these random ass games, but at the same time we could play Destiny Two and Call of Duty World War Two and shit like that. So no, I think it's been it's been a crazy year. Now that being said, out of all the games you've played, whether they came out this year, came out years ago and you just got to playing it this year, what's your game of twenty seventeen then? Um Hands down, it has to be Mario. Whoa, like, really? Yeah. Of everything you played Neo, this year. Neo, I was going to say Neo. Uh-huh. You know, like it was fully, fully developed game. I really love being a ninja. I was, I was invested so much time and, you know, strategizing all of the things in Neo, the bosses, because you can't just, you know, attack. You have to like predict, um, take on the ads and all that. And, mm-hmm. But Mario, I don't know, man. Like, like you were saying, I was just smiling the entire time playing this <laughs> this game. Just, you know, the start screen of like he's like Super Mario Odyssey, you know, like stuff like that. Just like, oh my god, my childhood is like Disneyland all over again. So I was like, mm-hmm. oh, dude. Um, just playing Mario for a little bit. Um, I think I spent maybe three or four, maybe more than that, a couple of hours. Um. Just going through every level just to appreciate all of the, the level designs, all of the unique things like, you know, becoming 2D for a second and then mm-hmm. or like when you have a different costume on and then you go 2D, it brings that costume. Mm-hmm. It's just it just makes it so awesome. And then you know? the music then, too, dude. When you go into yeah. the 2D, it has the music. My favorite one is the the forest level when you go 2D because the forest level has amazing music. And then you go 2D. Yeah. That, it's great, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's so crazy. And then it's like when you're riding Jaxi, the thing oh, in the yeah. desert. It's like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, my God. Mario, this is amazing. Just really amazing. I haven't even finished the game, and hopefully I don't want to finish it yet. But mm-hmm. um, but I think that game for now is like my all-time for this year. Maybe Honey Pop too. Whoa. Okay. Wait, I'm just wait. kidding. You gotta make a choice here, man. <laughs> Honey pop. Oh wow. Well, I can't lose the no, no, choice. No, I was just I was just joking, but <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious, dude. So I think it was a it, I was thinking about it right now, and it's a tough one, man. Cause <clears throat> nothing beats the old hunters. I think that Bloodborne DLC was just the most perfect DLC I've ever played ever oh yeah in yeah. any video game i think destiny with its millions of fucking um dlc um the division i didn't even make it past the first dlc uh pff, what else is there the last of us had a great dlc story but bloodborne just takes the cake man there's nothing nothing beats that dude it made the story it made a convoluted story that much better you know and answered a lot of questions and brought up even more questions after that you know yeah but that's not my game of the year <laughs> it's, 2017. it's it's gonna be neo dude i think i'll have to stick with neo man yeah because neo's close yeah yeah the first moment we saw it and we got hyped for that samurai action especially after playing after getting my first experience in bloodborne seeing neo and what the possibilities can be having such inflated expectations for it and then playing the game and having it meet those expectations was even crazier you know it's a loot based game and we all know i love loot grinding for loot is no problem for me um it got crazy when you had to customize your weapons (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> because it costs so much money to do it but you know they patched that through um the enemies did get a little repetitive but the boss fights were a lot of fun it was a lot more fluid a lot more easy going than bloodborne 
a lot more acrobatic and you felt like you were a samurai dude at least the way i played it yeah. i was a samurai man you know fighting the best part was fighting other samurai you know and getting that parry down and you know i was grinding out loot against other players so the stage i played a lot was that bridge with the ghost that dude with a giant ass axe and the oh, white yeah. like face mask thing yeah i fought him so many times over and by the end of me all my experience fighting him i just parried every hit he made you know because he would wind up so huge um mastering every weapon and then once you do that fighting the masters of each weapon was fucking awesome as well dude i think yeah. the easiest time i had was with the chain and kunai because rick was the real master and he taught me how to use it <laughs> <laughs> and then when I fought the Shane and Kunai Master at the dojo, I just tore his ass up. I didn't tear his ass up. I was just tripping him all day <laughs> and stomping on him. I mean, I, I can't say enough for what Neo did and all the DLC, you know, added new enemy types, added new weapons, and just added a lot more depth to the game. Um, as great as Mario is, I think it's just a late contender for someone that's been here all year in Neo, man. Yeah. So that's going to be my pick for 2017, man. It's been a crazy year, dude. We've played hella games. Yeah, and we still got a lot of more games to play. I know, like Final man. Final Fantasy VII and VR. Oh, God. <laughs> that's not going to be until 2018. I know, man. And we, we like still have our backlogs, which, which gets us to our next segment here. We're going to skip recommendations out for this week. And we're going to go into our new year's resolutions in gaming right because <laughs> 2018 is coming quick you know and maybe the way we've been gaming hasn't been the best so what would you do differently next year as it comes to gaming man um as, as in actually playing the game or actually because <laughs> my new year's resolution would be uh, like something like as soon as I buy a game, I have to beat it immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's like, a good one. You know, like the good old days of us buying games and, you know, we're always excited to get home and just play it and then we like marathon it through. I think, I don't know, now these days we always just buy a new game and then we just put it right on the shelf, you know, <laughs> saying, okay, I'm going to get to it a little later. But uh, I think... As soon as I buy a game, I have to beat it immediately. That's mm -hmm. going to be my New Year's resolution then. Ah, okay. That, that's a good one. Mine is going to be a little bit harder, dude, for me to accomplish. <laughs> I'm ready, all like, the DLCs. I'm, no, I'm, I'm hurting <laughs> like my head hurts already thinking about it. <laughs> but for me, man, I'm going to try and not platinum every game I buy, man. Oh, wait. I'm just Holy gonna crap. play games until the ending, and then put it down, and then get on <laughs> to the next one, man. <laughs> because you know, man, I love getting platinum trophies, dude. I don't know what it is. I'm just a collector, a completionist, whatever you want to say, man. And yeah, just... but if you um get the trophies down, don't you get the Sony rewards and See, don't you tell get me money that. or don't something? tell me that's going against my <laughs> resolution here, dude. <laughs> Don't tell I me that. I signed up. Yeah, <laughs> you better check it out, man. <laughs> so I'm going to try. I mean, as much as it kills me when I look at my trophies and I see a game that has like 48% trophies done, I'm just going to have to let it go, dude. I just, <laughs> you know, I don't have the time to be lingering on these games. I think the big one that's hurting me right now is Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, I did, yeah. I did everything in this game. You know, I beat it. I should have the platinum trophy. Except there's a glitch to where if you beat the, I don't know, 11th chapter, which is the third to last chapter in the game, the trophy doesn't pop up that you completed that chapter. So for me to try Ooh. and get this again, I'd have to play through the entire fucking game all over oh, again. Oh, wow. And Holy crap. There's no way I'm doing that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> especially now i think i gave the game back to rick so yeah man um i'm just gonna let go i'm gonna let go of those platinum trophies dude and just play a game money, and money. get on to the next one nah man i'm gonna play a game <laughs> and get on to the next one man i think the games that i really care about maybe th that'll be my resolution 
only the games I really care about will I get the platinum trophy for. I mean, I'm going to be playing it enough anyways to get them, so that that, that might be me. That might be me. Oh, God, it's going to be a hard resolution. Dude. I can feel it already, man. <laughs> Day one. You're like, oh, man, I got to get all the Monster Hunter trophies. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, dude. Oh, man, it's going to be crazy. But, yeah, I think we've talked about it. It's been a while. I think a few episodes ago we talked about how crazy 2017 was and how it could be the greatest year in gaming. And I think by us talking about all the games that we've played and not mentioning the games that came out this year that we didn't play, I think that says a lot to it, you know? Like, we didn't even mention Horizon Zero Dawn, and that was, like, one of the games of the year for a lot of people, right? Yeah, and I think Nier never got too. around to it. Oh, Nier as well, you know? Yeah, we never got around to playing those. Resident Evil 7, I mean, I don't think we would have played that anyways, but <laughs> <laughs> by all accounts, that's a great game too, you know? And it's just between you and I, there's just no way we can keep up and play all these rights. So it's been a great year in gaming, and that's what we'll be talking about next week is what we can expect in 2018. Um, some seeds have been planted already. We already know that Red Dead 2 is a for sure thing. Um, From Software is working on something. Don't really know what that is yet. A lot of theories out there. Bloodborne 2. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Will that be a thing next year? Shenmue 3. Will that be a thing next year? There's there's a lot that can happen in 2018, especially if it's projected to be a bigger year than 2017. So that stuff we'll speculate next time, next week. Is that going to be next year already? Will that be the first? Holy shit. It, it will be the first. Next, yeah, man. Next week. Oh, yeah, yeah, Next yeah. episode will be on the first. Yeah. Did you Are, are you ready for uh, Comic-Con tomorrow? Jesus Christ. It's going to come that quick, dude. <laughs> It is going to come that quick. <laughs> so that's it for us this year. We'll see you guys next year. But before then, Rick, some words of wisdom. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you in 2018. Peace.